Google has drastically changed the Android interface over the last couple of years, but there are new up-and-coming platforms that implement gestures and swipes that make navigating a little more intuitive and fun. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are five ways you can make Android look a little more modern. Matthias Duarte, Google's Director of Android User Experience, has really worked his magic on Android. If you compare Android 2.3 gingerbread with ice cream sandwich or jelly bean, the differences are very clear. You have lock screen widgets, which were recently introduced in Jelly Bean. You also have a more refined notification shade with gestures and expanding notifications and even a quick settings page. And the entire interface from the home screen to the deepest settings menu looks refined and much more cohesive. But when you compare Android to its toughest competitors, the up and coming mobile operating systems such as Ubuntu Phone OS or Selfish OS, or even BlackBerry 10, which all implement gesture control and navigation, the Android experience could definitely be improved. Less tapping, more sliding. This is where these applications really come into play. The first of which is called Action Launcher. It was developed by Chris Lacey, the guy who created Tweet Lanes, one of the more popular Twitter clients on Android, and it completely changes the way you use your home screen. Sure, you can have up to five pages, but there is no more application drawer. It is replaced by the Action Launcher, which is accessed by a left to right swipe from the left side of your home screen. An alphabetical list of every application installed on your phone is displayed, and you can quickly scroll through them by letter. But that is only the beginning of the changes of Action Launcher. It has a search bar at the top of the screen, which which lets you quickly access any of the applications as well. You also have quick access to Google Play and also an action overflow button on the top right corner. There are also folders, but these folders are different. You can change them to a cover, which is essentially an icon that you can tap and open an application, or you can swipe upwards and reveal the contents of the folder. It's a genius idea that works really well if you don't like the look of the folders. It's straightforward and intuitive, and I absolutely love the idea of covers. Our friend Domenico deserves a shout out for the second application. He showed it to us last week on Pocket Now Live, and I've been in love with it ever since. It's called Glovebox, and basically it is the experience you would get on Ubuntu Phone OS on Android. A swipe from the side of the display unveils a list of your favorite applications, which are user-defined, and it allows you to quickly switch between applications. It's quick, intuitive, and I love it. There are settings such as being able to change the side of the display, how sensitive it is, and other things. And there's a premium version as well. The free version works great, although there are some notable bugs. Next up is Dash Clock Widget. It's created by one of Google's own and many have said that it should be the default clock widget. I tend to agree. It works just like any other clock widget by giving you the time, but it also implements extensions which can be downloaded from the Play Store or they might be incorporated with applications you already have installed. I have mine set up to show how many unread tweets I have in Falcon Pro, how many unread emails I have, how many unread items there are in press, battery, weather, any alarms or calendar appointments I have coming up. It's full of features and there are more and more applications being added to the list of extensions by day. Without question, the widget I get asked about the most is Battery Widget Reborn. It is a big distinguishing widget that sits on your home screen and pretty much everything about the way it appears can be changed. Its color can be altered, its transparency, and its size. It can be resized down to one by one square or it can be full screen. You can also change what happens when you tap the widget. It can take you to your battery info or the built-in settings for the application. There is also a notification shade feature that shows you an estimated time your battery has left, how much time it will take to charge if your phone is plugged in, and other information about your battery. The fifth and final application that will make your Android phone look a little more modern is Beautiful Widgets. It's not a new application, it's been in the Play Store and very popular for a very long time. But Level Up Studio recently updated the application to adhere to the Android design guidelines. With that, they added an expanding notification, and it's what I found myself using all the time for referencing weather. Slide down the notification shade and you have a very beautiful expanded notification. They took full advantage of that feature. Tapping it also takes you to a full page weather update. Of course, these applications are probably the tip of the iceberg. If you use different ones, feel free to share them in the comments below or on the site. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can find us on your favorite social networks, Twitter at PocketNowTweets, Google Plus at PlusPocketNow, or Facebook.com slash PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.